Here comes In A Minute. She's a lovely boat actually, I like this boat. She's 62 feet long, traditional stern, built in 2003 by Crown Narrowboats on a G&J Reeves hull. She's only had two owners since she was new. She's been epoxy two-pack since she was new. In 2016, she was grip blasted and two-packed, and then she was two-packed again in October 2021. The engine was last serviced in September 22. Hasn't done a lot of hours since. Paintwork's in nice condition. A couple of nice taff seats on the back there. I think there's about 600 watts of solar there. Bit of a guess, but I don't think we'll be far out. There's no labels on them. Very big portholes in the back of the boat. Eight of those. They all open apart from one. And the rest of the boat has these bus style windows. It's a nice light boat actually. Typical Reeves bows there. There are two gas bottles in the forward locker. 13 kilos. There's a changeover valve in there as well. Nice well deck. Four feet long. Seats around the side. The water tank's under here. Stainless steel. I think there's 450 litres. The guts of the bow thruster in that forward locker. It's a Vitas 55 kgf bow thruster. Not easy to take these off one-handed, but there's storage under these benches. Storage under this other one. And the front doors are glazed and the bulkheads are glazed as well. So that adds quite a lot of light to the boat and the saloon is first, it's conventional layout. Saloon is 12 feet long, so it's quite good space. Here comes the Commodore. A couple of cupboards either side of the boat. Quite useful for storage. Little tails going. <laughs> Another cupboard on the starboard side here. Shelves under the gunnels, they're quite useful. More so squirrel solid fuel stove. That was new in 2021. A couple of comfy armchairs with footstools. I quite like the positioning of the stove actually. You could put armchairs either side of it. There are fin rads through the boat. Radiators at floor level. They're heated by Makuni diesel fired central heating system. There's the view down the saloon. It's quite a cosy room. I like the linings. The Tug and groove above the gunnels and the ceiling. The floor in here is Carndine. This is an L shaped dinette area. Storage underneath. Quite a nice area for eating or working or reading. This does convert into a spare double berth. There's a side hatch at this end of the dinette. Head height on the boat, well, I think of it, six foot three. All the lights are LED. And the galley's next. Good size room, 7 feet 11 inches long, stainless steel sink, it's a shoreline fridge, 12 volts with an ice box, a couple of cupboards under the sink here, they've got the carousel thingies that you pull out, they're quite useful. There is a filter, filtered drinking water tap at the sink, microwave oven, it's a Stowe's 500 DIT Four burner gas hob oven and grill. And then storage. And that cupboard and that drawer and this little cupboard under here. It's got the bin squirreled away, it's quite useful. Shelves there. So it's got everything you need in the galley really. On we go. Fin rads down the left hand side of the screen here. The bathroom's next. There's a curtain as the door, but actually under the mattress of the bed, the, the old door is still there. That basin's ceramic. The loo is a vacuum flush pump out loo. Cupboard under the ceramic sink. There's a radiator in here as well. Cupboard above the sink on the wall. It's a nice shower cubicle, it's tiled, it's got a glass bifold door and shelves in between the shower and the, and the cabin sides. That's a laundry basket, I suppose. 
There are a couple of extractor fans in here. The current owner's disconnected them. You just got a bit annoyed every time you turn the light on, but there are two and they do work. And the bedroom's next. These are the portholes I mentioned. Really good size portholes, actually. Now the bed itself, it's currently six foot by four foot. But the mattress isn't quite long enough for the base. So it could be a bit longer. And it also converts to full width. You can extend the bed full width across the boat. So if you want a massive bed, you can get an infill for the mat for the mattress area that you don't currently have, if you know what I mean. Very good size cupboard there. There's a wardrobe in behind that mirrored door. Bit of storage under here. Under the bed's got the tank for the loo and the uh, calorifier. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Makuni, or there is an immersion heater. The immersion heater's never been used by the current owner. We assume it works, but we don't know. The bedroom itself is ten and a half feet long. It's a lovely room. Sliding door here leads into the well, it's the engine room and there's a bit of a utility stroke office area here. Make a useful desk. There used to be a full-size washing machine under here, so plumbing and power and obviously the space is there for one. Current owners didn't use it, so they've put a twin tub machine under there, but you can put a proper one there. A tall cupboard there. And under here's the engine, it's a beta 43 horsepower. There is a travel power generator with the engine, so that gives you 230 volts through the boat when the engine is running. That's perfect for washing machines and heavy duty appliances. In here's a bit of a storage cupboard. And all the electrics and the bow thruster controls and the morse are there. And over here, that's the inverter. It's a master volt, two kilowatt inverter and a master volt charge master battery charger. So you've got plenty of power provision on the boat actually. There's three domestic batteries, one starter, they were all new in October 2022. That's your 12 volts and 230 volts is your inverter, your landline hookup or the travel power generator. Really lovely feel to this boat I think. What else to tell you? All the lighting's LED, can't remember if I mentioned that or not. And the fit-out is, uh, is oak tongue and groove to the ceilings and the cabin sides and it's painted ply. Quite a nice colour, don't know what you call it, below the, um, below the gunnels. Lovely boat, she's been home to the current owners, so she's tried and tested as a liverboard. And there we go, that's in a minute. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the spec and the price, of course, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.